everybody, it's Penny, and it is September the 13th, 2015, and it's the, actually the day before my chemo begins, but I want to talk to you about the power port. So I know there's a big debate, support or not support, that is the question. So not having a port means that the chemo would have to be accessed through your veins, and I have little, little veins, and as you can see, I'm giving it away a little power port and bracelet on, so that means I have the power port. So anyhow, uh, getting the chemo administered through your veins, which if there's any leakage of the chemo drugs into your veins, from your veins, that can cause permanent tissue damage. So it's not a good thing. Also, if the veins blow, they got to look for another um, site to administer drugs. And then there's labs to be done before even getting the chemo administered. Now, I haven't had my first treatment yet, but I'm reading up on everything. And I just want to talk about my experience with the port. So as you can see, I look a little jacked up here and <laughs> let's talk about why I look like this. I had my first port installation and that didn't go well, but it had nothing to do with the surgeon, it had to do with the anesthesiologist who did not protect my airway and my lung collapsed. That will not happen to you if you have a good anesthesiologist. I happen to have a bad one that day and I woke up with a chest tube, but that's another story. We're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about when port installation goes correctly. So I, about four days later, I got my port put in, um, same side. And the reason, if you notice, it's on my left side. Usually they try to put the port on your right side, um, away from your heart, but this is the right side is where the breast cancer is in. So the port had to be placed on my left side. So as you can see, I'm gonna go a little closer. What they do is they make an incision in your jugular vein. Mine's still a little bit swollen, plus I'm fat. And they thread it through your vascular system. And if I feel right here, I'm gonna feel the bumps. These little lumps are when they have a palpation um, bump so that, that way it lets the nurse or clinician know where to actually put the needle at. So I do have my old scar, hopefully that'll heal. Um, again, it's only been a week since this whole thing happened. But I do recommend the port because for me, it's about not just about the veins um, and access to veins, but convenience. Labs can be drawn from there, uh, radiology and um, CT, um, PET scans or, and the contrast material that needs to be um, administered can be administered through the port. And so I got the port installed um, on the 5th of September, 2015. And then they give you this booklet. Let's see if I can get to turn this around here. So... What you'll come with, they'll come with is the power port instructions. They'll explain to you the patient guide, how it should be taken care of and the flushing of it. And this is what it does look like under your skin. So this is what the port looks like. Hope I'm zooming out enough for you. You also get a card you should put on your keychain. Let any clinician know that you have the port. You have the power. And I have a power port. There's a port and there's a power port. The power port allows you to not only receive medication, but to have medication, uh, which, excuse me, have uh, blood drawn. You get a card, see my little handy dandy card here, with my name, Penelope Lopez. And this checklist just lets you know about what you should have received in your packet here. And you get this band. And this band lets you them, anyone know that you have a power port. So another reason why I always look black and blue is because when I was in the hospital, they were giving me heparin. Um, because of after surgery, that's the protocol, standard of care, to get a heparin shot, which is a blood thinner, and to prevent blood clots. So the downside to that is that you bruise easily. So every time I got a shot, I look like that. Anyhow, I recommend getting the power port, and um, we will see how this works tomorrow. Um, I did read up that you should have this um, numb, this area numbed and anesthetized before you um, they inject it and I'm sure the clinicians know how to do that so we'll see I did see a vascular surgeon follow up on Friday and the one who had installed it and he said everything looked well 